Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, even hit the thanks button. One of the funniest people I ever covered out at Redskins Park, or Commander's Park, was a guy who really didn't officially have a job there, and that was Pepper Rogers. All right. So in 1999, Dan Snyder comes in, doesn't really want to keep Coach Norv Turner, but Norv wins the, you know, it's too close to camp, he can't replace him, and then Norv wins the division title. Uh, so he has to come back the next year. And, but they get down with three games left, it's, and Washington loses 7-6, and Dan Snyder is livid, livid. And I even talked to Norv late, late that night, and he said, yeah, I'm coming in tomorrow late because I'm getting fired. All right. So what, who are they going to do? What are they going to do? So Pepper Rogers has been in Dan's owner's box the whole season. And Pepper was an old football guy. I mean, he, he played on the 1952 Georgia Tech national title team. Man, how long ago is this? You know, where he threw and threw a touchdown and kicked a field goal in that Sugar Bowl win. I mean, you know, he was a 12th round pick by the Baltimore uh, Colts in 1954, but he decided to go into the Air Force and be a pilot for five years. But eventually he found himself coaching, coached at Florida, where he had a young quarterback named Steve Spurrier, coached in the USFL, where he had the best team out there on it. And so they figured, Dan Snyder figured, Pepper, you're going to run the team the last three games. Well, the coordinators were called in. Ray, Ray Rhodes was defense, Terry Rubisky was offense, and said, you're going to be calling, you're going to be doing all the work under Pepper. And they said, no, no, not doing it. Don't care, not doing it. So Snyder finally had to back down, you know, and said, all right, Pepper, you know, you'll stay in the box with me. But who's going to coach? Well, Ray doesn't want it. He said, I don't want this train wreck on my resume. But Terry was always hoping to become a head coach somewhere Said, I'll take it. I'll do it. If it's three games, it's three games. And they went one and two, but, you know, whatever. And Pepper, he just always called himself, I'm a ding-dong daddy. <laughs> he was a funny guy. Funny guy. We would have had to end press conferences if he would have talked so much. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.